Hey guys, today I just want to make a really quick tutorial for you. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have had the same question. I had the same question. I've been searching for like a week on forums and stuff trying to get an answer. Finally stumbled across one. Not a lot of people seem to know about it. I actually found the answer to this problem on, on Apple's website, but I want to make a tutorial for you anyway. So uh, iOS 5, iCloud, really awesome, right? I take a picture right now of you guys on my iPhone. There you go. And now that's going to end up on my iPad, that's going to end up on Apple TV, that's going to end up on your another iPhone or an iPod that you have. Anything with iOS 5 that's running the photo stream, bam, that picture's on all of them. So, naughty you, you were doing a little bit of sexting last night, and uh, you deleted the pictures from your phone, and you've forgotten all about it. Now, fast forward, say two weeks, now it's Thanksgiving. You're over at Grandma's house. Grandma wants to see your new iPad. Okay, Grandma, here you go. Uh, she starts pulling up your pictures. Photo stream, what's this? Oh my gosh. Problem, okay? So, I want to show you guys how to delete pictures out of your photo stream today. It's actually not as easy as you would think it would be. You can't do it from any of your devices. You actually have to log into your iCloud account. So, I'm going to go over to my computer and we will do that now. Okay, guys. So, let's start off on deleting our photos out of our photo stream. Actually, not that hard. Follow along with me and we'll get this done for you. Uh, first off, we're going to go to iCloud.com. Uh, you may need to use Internet Explorer if you're on a PC and Firefox isn't working for you. As of making this video, they don't support Firefox yet. So just go to iCloud.com, I-C-L-O-U-D.com. And you're going to be notice that you're going to uh, see the login screen here. Go ahead and log into your iTunes account. That's the information that you'll use to log in with. I'm going to go ahead and click Sign In. I'm going to go ahead and put in my Apple ID. And I'll probably skip this so you guys don't get my email. Okay, once you're logged in, what you want to go ahead and do here is click the little uh, cloud logo right here, and it's going to take you out to your iCloud home screen. If you're not already there, I was at the Find My iPhone uh, screen, so that's fine. Uh, next thing that you want to do is click on your name, upper right-hand corner, and we'll let it load up here. All right, next you're going to see Advanced. Go ahead and give that a click. Once that loads up, you should see only option there, Reset Photo Stream. So you just go ahead and click that. It's going to give you a warning. All Photo Stream photos will be immediately removed from iCloud. Probably a good thing. If you do have photos in your Photo Stream that you want to keep, it's probably wise for you to go ahead and, before you do this, go into your iPhone or on your computer and save them. So we'll just go ahead and hit Reset. Once we do that, all the photos are removed from your photo stream. Now, one thing that you notice that you may need to do if your device is already synced with photo stream and those pictures are on it, now you need to go over to your device and actually remove them from your device. I will show you guys how to do that now. Okay, guys, now that I showed you how to remove the photos out of your actual photo stream, now I'm going to show them how to remove them from your iOS device. Uh, this will be the same for the iPad, I, iPhone, um, or iPod, or whatever. So basically, I'm going to do this on my iPhone today. All you do is you go into your settings, and then you want to go to iCloud, and then Photo Stream. And then all you do is turn your Photo Stream off, and that will delete all of your photos. It's going to ask you if you want to delete them, then you should go ahead and hit Delete. And you turn your photo stream back on if you want to. And then it won't be syncing up your photo stream photos because they're already gone off of the server as well. So now that you've just deleted them off your iPhone and off of the server, you won't see them again. Now keep in mind that if you still have photos like on your iPad or anything else, you just need to go do the same thing. And then you won't see those photos again. That is about it for this guide. I really hope that it helped you guys. If it did, make sure you hit that subscribe button up top there. And also it couldn't hurt to give this, fun, this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And that is about all I have for you guys today. I will see you in the next video.